For Mrs. Emily Simmons, it has been a life well lived. This was Mrs. Simmons and her daughter Patricia years ago, and this is them today. She used to be my protector, so now I am her protector. Mrs. Simmons, in her 90s, was diagnosed with probable Alzheimer's disease. I have to think, and if I don't remember anything, I call my daughter. We felt that uh, Alzheimer's disease had not been studied thoroughly in uh, African Americans. We detected a risk gene, which is called ABCA7, um, in this ethnic group, which is associated with ISMS disease. Doctors Richard Mayhew and Christian Reitz from Columbia University and co-authors collected genetic data on almost 5,900 African Americans from more than 18 centers around the United States. Researchers say the gene, known as ABCA7, had been associated with Alzheimer's disease in Caucasians, but not in African Americans. This uh, gene increases the risk of Alzheimer's disease in this African American population. Uh, twofold. The study appears in a theme issue on genomics in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. ABCA7 is a genetic risk factor for Alzheimer's disease in African Americans that is the, of the same magnitude as APOE is for that population. APOE, discovered in 1993, had been the only risk gene related to late-onset Alzheimer's disease for the last 30 years in both the African-American and Caucasian populations. Researchers also say that ABCA7 is associated with cholesterol metabolism, which is involved with vascular disease, and African-Americans have more vascular disease than Caucasians. This uh, is what makes this risk gene, especially in this African-American population, very plausible. Once we identify how this gene increases risk, then we can start to figure out ways to develop either therapeutic targets or ways to prevent uh, the disease altogether. As for Mrs. Simmons, all the women in her family have lived well into their hundreds, and she plans to do the same. I hope so, <laughs> or even more if it's necessary. <laughs> Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.